how we actually try and make sure that patients are aware what, what they're gonna, going to receive following cosmetic surgery is by quite a lengthy process of counselling. So it's not just a, a quick to, you know, 10 minute consultation, list them for surgery. Uh, for instance, for breast augmentation, we'd always recommend that patients see uh, the surgeon who's going to undertake the surgery spend a good 30 minutes in an, in an initial consultation going over the procedure, going over what the patient actually wants, going, trying to explain to the patient what they will actually get. So just keeping on the breast augmentation, uh, what breast augmentation actually does is it increases the volume of the breast that the patient has. So if they've got asymmetries in terms of the nipple position, in terms of the shape, those asymmetries will still be there following a breast augmentation. If they've got widely spaced breasts, they will still have widely spaced breasts after the augmentation procedure. So it's, it's managing those expectations and letting patients know. But then following that form of that 30 minute consultation, most surgeons will then get patients seen by a, a, some form of specialist, a nurse or whatever, who will then go over uh, probably for 45 to an hour uh, long discussion with the patient again, informing them about the surgery, managing their expectations again, making sure that the implant that's being chosen is the right one for them. And then patients have an opportunity to come back and see the surgeon. So it's quite a lengthy process. And there's also got to be a period of at least two weeks between the initial patient contact and the surgery if you want to give the patient the time to adequately reflect on what's going, what, what they're going to be going into. There are techniques that are being developed to try and give patients morphed images. So, for instance, breast augmentation. There are computer programs now which enable you to give an impression as to what it's going to be like. Those computer programs at the moment are not that sophisticated. You can get one on your iPhone. There's an app on your iPhone for breast augmentation. Uh, it's, it's not a good way of choosing what, what volume of implants you need and what's, what, you, what it's going to look like. It's through a very careful counselling process with an experienced surgeon.